na ningependa kusema kama mkristo ya kwamba kuna watu wengine wakituona kanisani wanafikiri ya kwamba tumekujia siasa hatujakuja siasa kanisani tumekuja kanisani kwa sababu si ni wa kristo kishia kwamba mwaka uliopita karibu tupata matatizo kidogo kwa sababu vita ya Ukraine na kule kwingine ilichelewesha mambo yetu ya mbolea mbolea ilikuwa inafika February lakini mwaka huu tumekamilisha procurement eh, wiki mbili zilizopita kufika December tutakuwa na mbolea ya msimu ujao yote katika taifa letu. Nikiongea na nyinyi saa hizi tuko na mbolea hapa Eldoret, tuko na mbolea kule Moise Bridge, tuko na mbolea hapa Siwa. Na nimeambia watu wa Cereals kuanzia wiki mbili ijayo pia tufungue store hapa Moiben. <clears throat> uh, kwa ushirikiano wa National Cereals and Produce Board na County Government yetu ya Wasengishu pia tuko na store hapa eh, tutakuwa na store hapa Moiben na mnajua tuko na store ingine pale inaitwa Progressive hapo juu tuhakikishe ya kwamba wakulima wanaweza kupata mbolea hiyo mahali karibu alafu hawa county governments watatusaidia katika ile inaitwa last mile tuweze kuhakikisha ya kwamba mbolea inafika kwa wananchi kwa wakulima hasa ndio watusaidie kuzalisha chakula so that we can have a nation that has food security we can reduce the cost of living and we can manage inflation so that we can grow our economy vile vile nataka niwapongeze wakulima hasa kwa sababu ya mpango yenu ya diversification wakulima wengi sasa wanaanza kupanda kahawa wengine wanapanda avocado wengine wanapanda macadamia mimi nataka niwaambie ya kwamba hiyo ndio barabara ya kuhakikisha kwamba kuna mapato ya kutosha kutoka sehemu mbalimbali. Na vile eh, viongozi hapa wameuliza we are going to work together with the relevant government ministries to make sure that there are adequate seedlings and support to farmers especially as you undertake the diversification processes across this region. So tutashirikiana pamoja na nyinyi eh, kuhakikisha kwamba eh, mnapata usaidizi utafiti na vile vile support ingine ya kuhakikisha kwamba wakulima wanaendesha kazi hiyo kwa njia ambayo itawafaidi na njia ambayo itasaidia nchi yetu eh, kuwa na mapato ya kutosha na vile vile kuongeza mapato kwa wakulima wetu. Pia niliwaeleza ya kwamba mambo ya maziwa ni lazima tuweke mpango maalum. Pale kwa maziwa tulisema na nimeshukuru ya kwamba bei ya maziwa ni shilingi hamsini kwa mkulima. Na mimi nataka niwahakikishie nimemwambia waziri Oparanya ambaye anahusika na mambo ya cooperatives ya kwamba going forward we must reform KCC and make sure that it can respond to the needs of farmers. Kwa hivyo, hiyo mpango tumepanga vizuri kwa sababu hatujafikia pei ya sawasawa ya maziwa. Bado we need to work hard to make sure that the price to the consumer and the price to the farmer doesn't have a very big gap. Kwa sahizi, the gap is still very big kwa sababu consumer analipa shilingi mia moja. mkulima analipiwa ana, anapatiwa shilingi ya msini. hii ya msini nyingine hapa katikati sijui inaendanga namna gani hapo ndio lazima tuweke bado iko kizungumkuti hapo tunataka kupanga tuone huyu mwenye hapo hapa katikati ni nani huyu anakula hii pesa mingi na haamuki usiku ukamua ngombe anunui chakula afanyi chochote so we need to rectify 
happen and the, re the relevant ministry is going to work so that we can make sure that ultimately the farmer gets a fair return but also the consumer is, um, doesn't pay an exorbitant price. Mimi vile vile nataka ni washukuru kwa sababu eh, ya masomo ya watoto wetu. Nimeona watoto wengi wamekuwa hapa eh, kanisani. Eh, nimepata baraka ya kusalimia watoto wengine hapa wa, wadogo. Na mnajua watoto ni baraka kwa jamii na ni baraka kwa taifa. Our children as a nation is a blessing to us as families and to us as a nation. Na hakuna taifa ambayo iko na future bila ya kuchunga watoto. Na sababu hiyo ndio tumeweka mpango kamili ya kusomesha watoto wetu. Tumeongeza budget ya masomo ya, ya, ya watoto wetu vile mumesikia tuliajiri walimu karibu elfu hamsini na sita tunaajiri walimu wengine elfu ishirini januari mwaka ujayo wale ambao walikuwa interns sasa tunawa transition wakue permanent and pensionable na tukiongea hivi munajua ya kwamba watoto wetu wanaendelea na mtihani na mwaka ujao tutakuwa na grade 9 na katika hiyo grade 9 tunahitaji madaraza zaidi serikali imeweka mpango na tayari tuko katika kukamilisha madarasa moja. ili tuweze kuwa na transition ya sawasawa sawa mwaka ujao mimi nataka niwaulize wabunge na wako hapa kwa wengi na wabunge wote wa taifa letu la Kenya tuliwapatia shilingi bilioni tatu na laki ine 3.4 billion mutusaidie kujenga madarasa elfu sita. na tulikubaliana na nyinyi ya kwamba you are going to match a shilling for a shilling therefore i want to ask every member of parliament we have committed 3.4 billion shillings to you as constituencies please match that money and help us construct another 6000 classes so that we can have a smooth transition to grade 9 for all our children hiyo ni mpango ambayo nawauliza wabunge waweze kushirikiana na sisi kwa sababu mambo ya masomo ya watoto wa Kenya ni muhimu kwetu sisi zote. Ya pili ningependa pia niwaulize wabunge kwa sababu katika ile mpango yetu ya kupanga ajira ya vijana tumekubaliana tujenge ICT hubs 1450 kila ward iwe na ICT hub. Mheshimiwa Parto, Profesa, ujue hivyo na washimu wale wengine wote tunataka kujua ya kwamba where is the ICT hub in every ward ndio tuhakikisha kwamba vijana wetu wa Kenya kupitia kwa digital jobs tuwapange na ajira na vile vile tuwawezeshe kufikia hatma yao ya kutafuta vile wanaweza kujisimamia hapo katika masomo ya watoto wetu vile vile mimi na furai ya kwamba tunaendelea kupiga msasa ile um, funding model ambaye ni student centered ili tuhakikishe ya kwamba hakuna mtoto wa Kenya hata awe anatoka jamii maskini atakosa kwenda Tibet ama university na asome kama watoto wengine wa Kenya that is the primary objective of making sure that our student centered funding model does not just address the issues in the university but addresses the specific issues of every student and making sure that all our children are treated fairly and equitably so that no child irrespective of whatever families they come from 
is left behind especially in higher education kwa hivyo tutaendelea kushirikiana pamoja na nyinyi hivyo ndio tuweze eh, kutembea barabara hiyo pamoja nasema hivyo kwa sababu watoto ni wengi nimeona hapa kanisani and their future is important to us as parents and is important to us as a nation how we treat them how we plan for them how they grow how we educate them determines what kind of country we are going to have tomorrow and it is our responsibility all of us as parents as leaders and uh, as a nation to plan for our children nataka nishukuru kanisa kwa sababu ya vile wanashirikiana pamoja na sisi katika mambo mengi ya kiserikali ya maendeleo hasa pale kwa matibabu makanisa wanatusaidia katika kusimamia e, zahanati kusimamia mahospitali katika sehemu mbalimbali na vile viongozi hapa wamesema pale mbeleni wenye bima ya afya walikuwa ni wale wana uwezo na wenye kuweza kwenda hospitali ni wale wako na uwezo wa kulipa hospitali tumesema kama taifa mtu akiwa mgonjwa hakuna mtu anatamani kuwa mgonjwa mtu anakuwa mgonjwa kwa sababu ya bahati ambaye haijampata vizuri anakuwa mgonjwa na tunataka tuhakikishe ya kwamba mtu yeyote awe na uwezo asiwe na uwezo aende hospitali atibiwe na asifukuzwe kwa sababu hana pesa and that is the essence of the transition from the old model of delivery of health in Kenya and the current model we worked on this model together na mimi nataka niwashukuru wabunge tulifanya kazi na wao tukapitisha sheria ine mpya ambaye sasa itaweka msingi thabiti ya kuhakikisha ya kwamba wananchi wetu wote watapata matibabu bila ubaguzi na kila mmoja wetu haijalishi kama uko na ugonjwa wa saratani ya makansa kama uko na ile hypertension kama uko na blood pressure sasa itawezekana uende hospitali utibiwe na gharama hiyo ilipwe na bima yetu sisi wote kama wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya najua tumekuwa na changamoto kwa sababu we are transitioning from what it was to the new model and in every transition there will be challenges those challenges we are managing last week tulitoa pesa ya kusaidia hospitals and dispensaries across Kenya next week tutaendelea na kutoa pesa ingine until we ensure that the, the transition is complete mimi nataka niulize kila mkenya kila mkenya ujisajili kwa sababu ukisha jisajili sasa tutakuwa na uwezo wa kuwa na data ya kupanga vile tuta deliver mambo ya afya kwa wakenya kila mmoja wetu lazima ujisajili na kujisajili ni bure kujiandikisha tu kusema mimi ni mama fulani mzee wangu ni fulani niko na watoto wawili ama watatu useme majina yao ndio wakati tunapangia mambo ya afya tunajua hapa Moiben tuko na wananchi kiasi fulani tuko na um, hospitali kiasi fulani tunahitaji kupanga dawa kiasi fulani ndio tusiwe tunapanga mambo ya afya kiholela we must use the benefit of having data and that is the reason why we are asking every citizen to register so that we can be able to plan our health as a nation we can be able to know what is the disease load in what area and we can be able to plan ahead of time how to deliver the relevant medicines 
the relevant um, human capital na vile umesikia governors wakisema hapa wanamalizia mkutano nafikiri kesho na officers wangu wa wizara ya afya ili tukubaliane vile 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 tutahakikisha ya kwamba kuna equipment katika kila hospitali katika taifa letu la Kenya because this time round we must get our health in the right place kwa hivyo mimi nataka niwaulize sisi wote tushirikiane eh, kamati ya senate ya mambo ya afya eh, sio ndio chama huyu ndio chama wa kamati ya senate ya mambo ya health huyu governor we, huyu senator wenu huyu mandago yeye ndio chama na kutuko na chama wa health wa national assembly dr bukose na tumekubaliana na kamati zote mbili ya kwamba tutashirikiana wao wakiwa the people's representatives to make sure that we uh, shepherd and guide this program so that it benefits every citizen haitakuwa vizuri ya kwamba ati katika Kenya kuna watu kwa sababu hawana uwezo hawawezi kutibiwa hospitalini that is not right katiba ya Kenya inatulazimu kama serikali article 43 kusema ya kwamba tupange mambo ya afya ya kila mkenya kwa hivyo hiyo ndio mpango yetu na mimi nimefurahi sana ya kwamba kufikia sasa tumefikisha wananchi karibu milioni kumi na tatu tayari wamejisajili na ukijisajili kama we ni mzee usijisajili peke yako unajisajili na bibi yako na watoto wako ndio hiyo iwe complete ndio tuhakikishe ya kwamba every family is uh, covered under our plan mwisho kabisa nataka niwashukuru sana kwa yale mambo viongozi hawa wamesema mambo ya stima eh, mheshimiwa amesema hapa bado stima iko chini eh, nataka niwaambie ya kwamba tuko na program ambayo inaendelea saa hii ya milioni 800 hapa wazingishu lakini nimesikia ya kwamba mnataka affirmative action eh mnataka hiyo pesa iongezwe so nitalete maneno kule bunge muharakishe alafu tuongeze hiyo pesa ndio hawa wananchi waweze kupata stima wakati nilikuwa nasalimiana pale nje nilikutana na rafiki yangu kutoka kule sukute mwingine anaitwa Rogers hapo huyu akaniambia hata kwake hajapata stima wewe sasa we DK wewe mimi nilikuwajia kazi ya mjumbe ya soi sasa unawacha huyo Roger asakuja asumbue mimi kwa nini <laughs> sasa wewe tafuta stima peleka kwa Roger huyo na mwingine alikuwa anaita si na huyo si TNA huyo unajua hawa watu walikuwa na support zamani sasa wewe stima ipike huko eh, na asipofikisha huyo mjumbe mkuje mmstaki kwangu <laughs> eh So na wengine wengi vile eh, mheshimiwa eh, professor Parto amesema na kazi zile zingine tutaendelea namna hiyo. <laughs> Again gagas. <laughs> Naona kuna mama rafiki yangu pia hako nyuma huko anasema na mbona umenisahau? <laughs> so mtanisaidia kupanga hawa watu. Unajua hawa watu wa nyumbani hawa bado wananiona tu mimi mjumbe ule wa zamani walikuwa na, walikuwa wananisumbua anyway so um, maneno hiyo ya stima na vile vile mambo ya barabara nimesikia ya kwamba eh, kuna barabara na kuna vile tumeongea na hata nyinyi waheshimiwa mnajua kuna vile tumeongea mambo ya kupanga hiyo mambo yetu ya barabara kuna barabara zilizokwama kuna zile mnazihitaji so that eh, we can plan forward um Wacha niwachi hapo na niseme asante sana kwa kunipokea hapa Moiben na kwa wasingishu. Um, uyu Father Jonas. Father Jonas huyu kiplimo. Uh, ni kijana mzuri. Wacha nikuita hivyo. Na amenikumbusha hapa ya kwamba kuna kuna youth facility tulikuwa tunajenga kule chini akaniambia mbona umesahau ile youth facility pale nikamwambia nitakupanga panga hapa leo ili uende ufanye hiyo kazi 
lakini amekataa akasema usinipange hapa hii kulu kwani siwezi kufika hii kulu jameni nifike hata siku moja sasa wewe father tuesday eh, tuesday wewe ukuje ndio sasa <laughs> eh? so askofu eh, john tafadhali umruhusu huyu father akuje a, a, akuje achukue achukue hiyo maneno ya vijana ambaye tulipanga ile youth center pale sasa um, na uendelee kufanya kazi nzuri unafanya kwa vijana wetu thank you very much for doing a good job um, na pia kuna mtu mwingine amesema ati mumeazima hii hii nini <laughs> neko mwaiman wale kwa kisawa mwaiman <laughs> Moje moje ngisema wape kusengwe eh atomwa kitio mwa ole oyie eh ko same eh ujo okay aya dita dita kabla sijatoka hapa tutakuwa tumepanga hiyo maneno so um otherwise mimi nimefurahi sana unajua Eh, nimechangia hii kanisa mara nyingi lakini sijawahi kufika hapa eh? kinga apke nyigele jo giteje kanisa tengine moibeni alijini okay oroni gi so hii eh, tunajenga moibeni ndio hii na sasa nilikuwa na wasiwasi sijui hii pesa mimi natoa sijui inafika sasa leo nimethibitisha kweli hiyo pesa ilifika lakini sikujua mtajenga kanisa kubwa namna hii eh kwa sababu ile pesa nilichangia ni kidogo nyinyi mmefanya sehemu kubwa sana pongezi pongezi um, na muendelee kufanya eh, kazi ya Mungu vile mnafanya endelee kushirikiana muendelee kuwa wafanyi biashara muendelee kuwa wakulima ile kitu mimi nataka niwaulize watu wa sehemu hii ya wasingisho pia sasa imefika wakati ya kukomesha kukatakata mashamba yenu hapa ndiyo tunalisha taifa letu la Kenya mumesikia tunajenga nyumba Eldoret tumejenga nyumba the first phase tuko na nyumba pale Kidiwa tuko na nyumba inajengwa kule Pioneer tuko na nyumba tunajenga hapo railway I think the first consignment ya manyumba ni karibu nyumba elfu kumi. Wewe kama unataka mali ya kuishi nyumba iko Eldoret. Hii shamba hapa ni ya kulima. Ama namna gani? Si namna hiyo? Eh kujeni huko Eldoret, muishi hapo, tuko na kiwanda sasa tunaanzisha hapo, Special Economic Zone. Tuko na ingine ICT Hub. Tuko na ingine inaitwa nini hapo? mmesikia hiyo biofax siko huko sasa hawa vijana wawache kukata msikatie mtu shamba pande hii ununulia nyumba ya Eldoret alafu wafanye kazi pale hii shamba tuzalishe chakula tulishe Kenya na muweke pesa kwa mfuko tunaelewana na hiyo kujenga manyumba huko tunahitaji vijana wa kufanya hiyo kazi na kazi zingine zote mi najua hapa mko na TTI pia tuta tuta tutajenga hostels ya TTI hapa na ile TTI zingine ile huyu eh, mheshimiwa profesa amesema ya Tip School of Tibet nimesikia wewe pia mwende mkamilishe hiyo maneno nikirudi hapa next year tuweze kuendelea na hiyo kazi sawa sawa na kazi zile zingine zote mmeniuliza gani na gani na gani nitapanga panga na hata ile ya kanisa ya huyu governor amesema e, nitapanga wewe ndio upeleke hiyo maneno kwa hiyo makanisa so um, sitaki kusema kuzidi hapo mimi nimefurahi sana kufika hapa Moiben siku ya leo e, baba wetu askofu wa asante sana kwa kutukaribisha hapa tufikishie pia salamu zetu wa askofu wetu Dominic 
na tunawashukuru sana kwa kazi mnafanya kama viongozi wa dini kuleta wa Kenya pamoja. Na ningependa kusema kama Mkristo ya kwamba kuna watu wengine wakituona kanisani wanafikiri ya kwamba tumekujia siasa. Hatujakuja siasa kanisani. Tumekuja kanisani kwa sababu sisi ni wa Kristo. Tumekuja kanisani kwa sababu tuko na imani. Na tuko na mpango ya kwenda mbinguni baada ya hii shughuli mingi. Kwa hivyo tafadhali na waomba kwa unyenyekevu msitukoseshe mbinguni kwa sababu sisi ni wanasiasa. Kwa sababu hata huko mbinguni tutakuweko kama sisi wanasiasa. Hii siasa ni kazi tu. Siasa si dhambi. Siasa ni kazi. Si ndio? So tunawasihi ya kwamba eh, tushirikiane pamoja. We don't come to church to do or to look for politics. Sisi tunaelewa mahali ya kutafutana na masiasa na makura. Tunajua mahali ya kwenda kutafuta hiyo maneno. Tukikuja kanisani tunakuja kwa sababu tuko na mpango ya kwenda mbinguni. Yes. And uh, we are we are very unapologetic about our faith in God. And uh, we are not in charge to look for fame or to look for votes. We come to church because we are Christians. We believe in God. And in any case, the Constitution of Kenya, the first chapter, says God of all creations in our Constitution. And that is why Kenya is a God-fearing nation. Yote tisa kumi na wauliza sisi wote hasa tulio pata baraka ya kuwa viongozi. Tujue sisi ni watumishi. Na tumepata nafasi na baraka ya kuwa viongozi. Tujue sisi sio viongozi ndio tunufaike ama ndio tupate umaarufu. Sisi ni viongozi ndio tuwatumikie wananchi hawa na manufaa ifikie kila mkenya. Na nawaomba kwa unyenyekevu sote tuliopata baraka hiyo ya kuwa viongozi. Tufanye bidii tuunganishe wananchi wote wa taifa letu la Kenya. And I want to encourage all of us as leaders the unity of our nation the unity of the people of Kenya in unity we have strength we can walk together we can overcome every challenge when we are united and that is why i will not relent in making sure that we unite all the people of Kenya in our quest and in our mission to transform our nation and to have a prosperous, peaceful, and God-fearing nation. Mutuombe kama viongozi, kama wa Kristo, ndio Kenya iweze kunganika na tuweze kwenda pamoja. Asanteni sana na watakia baraka ya mungu.